What's up, Core Reporters, and welcome back to my channel. I am so locked into this Artem and Nikki Bella, Nikki Garcia situation. It is just so mind-blowing to me what has happened, you guys. So just as a refresher, Artem is currently facing felony DV charges based off an altercation that he had with his wife, Nikki, in, um, where was it? They went to Napa Valley, okay? It seemed to be some beautiful romantic vacation that took a wild turn. And now TMZ got the dispatch call. I would play it for you guys, but they speak in a lot of code, so um, I would prefer to just recap it for you instead of playing it because um, I think you'll get lost in the audio just like I in the audio, but I came kind of to the conclusion that Artem knew that whatever he did or, you know, allegedly did to Nikki was bad. It was terrible. He panicked. And that's why the 911 call was even made it was because he probably thought that Nikki was going to call 911. And he knew that she had like markings on her or something like that, that would have the cops arrest him. And so he decided to go ahead and call before Nikki could. And then he claimed, oh my God, I need an ambulance for myself. My wife, she threw shoes at me, basically. Then he panicked again and said, actually, never mind. I do not want anyone to come. Because I guess at that point, maybe he realized that Nikki was not actually going to make a 911 call. And he didn't want anyone to come and see what had allegedly happened, you guys. So let's take a look at what happened in the play-by-play, -play, okay, you guys? So this is what the dispatcher says, Nick, quote, initially came in as requesting medical, but now he is stating that he got into an argument with his wife and his wife threw shoes at him. Then she also says that there's a child on the scene, medical en route. There's an active 415, which is disturbing the peace, in the background responsible. And then um, afterwards, the, the paramedic, uh, sorry, the dispatcher says, actually, no, um, he is stating no medical is needed now. So how is it that you go from needing a uh, medical assistance for yourself to all of a sudden no longer needing it within the span of like a couple of seconds, you know, or a minute max? It seems as though he was only even requesting that to try and have some kind of like, oh, well, she did this to me, um, excuse or a situation for when the police ultimately wound up showing up. And I find that to be rather disturbing that he would do that knowing what he allegedly did to his wife, Nikki Bella. So basically what happened is the police wound up showing up to the scene. They took one look at Nikki and said, oh, oh, oh Lord, we are arresting your husband. And that is how Artem wound up with this mugshot. Something happened. The cops could see it on Nikki's body, you know, or on her face, some bruising, markings, whatever. And that is how he wound up arrested. So I, and then um, if he really was all that injured or anything like that, they would have potentially arrested the both of them, right? Or had a citation for Nikki or something, right? Um, or arrested Nikki, but that was not the case. The person who went off calling these, um, the, the, the authorities was the one who wound up getting arrested. What does that tell you about this person's motives for calling, right? You know, if you were this victim, if she threw shoes at you and you did nothing, why is it that the cops looked at her and decided to arrest you? Why did they not arrest your wife, Nikki Bella Arden? And um, I just have to say that the fact that this man would allegedly do this to her um, after having allegedly, you know, gotten violent with her, right? And their child is there. Like he was trying to take the heat off himself and take her away from her child. Like that is some scary, scary stuff. I really do hope that Nikki calls this marriage off. It's only been a year and a half, two years or something like that, but that's already a year and a half to two years too long. Nikki, you deserve so much better than this. This is absolutely vile, disturbing, disturbing, scary behavior. Not only the fact that he allegedly put the paws on her, but the fact that he tried to make her go to jail for it. You know, if she threw shoes at him, I believe it was in reaction to whatever it is that he allegedly did to her that had the cops arresting him when he was the one who called 911. Wow. Guys, I think there's still so much to this story, so much more to come. So if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel so you stay updated on what happens between Artem and Nikki in this entire ordeal. Nikki has so far uh, released a statement only asking for privacy. When the police spoke to her, she asked to be anonymous or anything like that, but it was very obvious based on the charges that she was 
the alleged victim in this entire altercation anyway. And that's why we know that, right? So I I, 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 I worry that she's not going to cooperate in the prosecution of Artem and with Artem already being rich, uh, those two things would make it really easy for him to get off scot-free in this entire ordeal. And I, I would hate to see that. I really hope that Nikki has her sister, her brother, her parents, like everybody rallying around her to get justice for herself in this entire situation because it's what she deserves. Best of uh, luck, best of wishes to you, Nikki. You know, my thoughts are with Nikki and her son right now because this is a very, very scary situation. Let me know how you feel about this. And if you came to the same conclusion based on Artem trying to call 911 to tell them that Nikki threw a shoe on, uh, threw a shoe at him only for them to come and arrest him. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading all of your comments in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video, okay? Take care, you guys. Bye.